Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about a recent tropical disturbance that is already given a medium chance to develop in the Gulf of Mexico. And there's also a tropical wave that is propagating towards the Lesser Antilles and we'll be bringing some inclement weather there. So we'll be talking about that as well and uh, what the various models are expecting in terms of that Gulf disturbance as they're going to be heading into the next several days and so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update to video on the tropics. And to show your support for the channel, please leave a like on this video. Okay, and so let's go ahead and start off with this infrared satellite view of the North Atlantic Basin. And there we're seeing that we have that disturbance over in the Gulf of Mexico. We have an upper level low that is inducing a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity across the Caribbean. But there is a tropical wave that is approaching the Lesser Antilles right now, probably bringing some showers and thunderstorms to the various islands so you can let me know what's happening there today in your area and then there are two other tropical waves out there and so let's go ahead and kick start things with that uh, tropical disturbance and then we'll move on to that wave approaching the lesser Antilles and so this disturbance is given a 40% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone through the next 48 hours and five days and so uh, this system really has limited Limited time because conditions will be getting increasingly unfavorable as we progress into the next several days. So uh, maybe the maximum of two days in conducive conditions to get itself together and probably become a tropical depression. But after that point, then chances are likely to diminish for the system to further intensify. But nevertheless, it is likely going to be bringing a lot of increased rainfall to portions of Mexico. And as we take a look at it on satellite here, we're seeing that we have have all this activity all this convection associated with it and a whole lot of this activity was inland and was affecting other areas such as Guatemala and Belize and uh, today though for those areas things should be a little bit clearer maybe occasional showers but things should be a lot clearer today compared to the last couple of days when Julia was in the area and then all of that activity was also persistent and so guys if we have that system developing into a tropical cyclone then it is going to be acquiring the next name to be used for this hurricane season, which is Carl. And by tropical cyclone, I should have specified to a tropical storm. So once the system meets the threshold to be considered a tropical storm, then it will acquire the name Carl as that is the next name to be used for the Atlantic hurricane season. And so as we take a look at this map here, here for the next 72 hours, the surface forecast, we're seeing that we have that area being highlighted in the Gulf where we would see possible development of it. So uh, let's wait and see what's going to be happening during the next couple of days. But regardless, it is going to be bringing a lot of showers and thunderstorms to Puerto of Mexico and it's likely going to be inducing some flooding across some areas because this thing is going to be sitting around in the area for a little bit of time and so later in this video we will be taking a look at what the various models are showing but now let us go ahead and take a look at that tropical wave and so here we have it on satellite we see all this activity associated with it that is making its way towards the west and it is going to be bringing increased shower and thunderstorm activity to the lesser Antilles so uh, so over the past few days, there was a trough inducing a lot of activity and now we have this approaching tropical wave that is going to be doing uh, mainly the same thing here. So it's going to be bringing all of that increased shower activity and though this is just a tropical wave guys, remember that extensive periods of very heavy rainfall can result in flash flooding across flood prone areas. So just take the necessary precautions and stay safe as the system is going to be making its way by and uh, bring in all that increased shower activity that is expected. Taking a look at conditions across the basin, we have this water vapor map that uh, indicates the moisture which is seen you know, with those whites and greens and then those yellows indicate that there is dry air 
And so we're seeing here on this map that we have drier, more stable conditions across sections of the Northern Caribbean, such as Jamaica, parts of uh, Eastern Cuba, as well as Hispaniola, and even up in the Bahamas as well. So not a whole lot of shower and thunderstorm activity is noted within these areas. However, in terms of the tropical wave, as well as the disturbance, even though part of the Gulf is cut off this map here, uh, we're seeing that it is mainly all that moisture that shower and thunderstorm activity is nose hit within those regions and so later today the hurricane hunters will be flying into the system and investigating it so they can collect some data uh, which is that recon data so if we have the system continuing to look as though it is improving then uh, we'll likely have those hurricane hunters flying in but this is not a sure mission as it is stated that they will be investigating the system if necessary okay and so what are the various models expecting for it and so let's go ahead and begin with the icon model and we're really looking for those black lines called isobars and their lines of equal pressure so when we see them in a circular manner with the pressure being at least 10 13 millibars or lower then it is likely that we're looking at a tropical cyclone and if we have the isobars being very tightly packed and that is indicating a much stronger system and so as we head into the end of this week here we have the icon showing that the system will be trying to get itself together and lingering in the Gulf of Mexico, intensifying a bit, and then eventually curving back into Mexico uh, and likely not becoming something very, very significant in the Gulf because, again, uh, conditions are expected to become unfavorable over the next several days. And then next we have the GFS model, which is expecting something a little bit similar, uh, but not showing any development near as strong as ICON. So the model is expecting that we will have all that activity, but not showing an organized cyclone being there. And so next here we have the Euro that is showing something a little bit similar to the GFS, not expecting any significant development of the system. But again, regardless of it becoming a tropical cyclone or not, it is going to be enhancing the rainfall across Mexico throughout the next several days and so uh, same story that I said for the wave that's going to be approaching the Lesser Antilles when we have extensive periods of very heavy rainfall there is likely to be flash flooding across flood prone areas and so if you're in Mexico please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe especially uh, the along the Bay of Campeche because those areas will likely experience the most rainfall from the system as it is going to be lingering in the area and potentially getting itself together so we'll see what happens with this as we progress into the next couple of days but uh, there is that medium chance of development and we could see this manage to intensify into a tropical cyclone and ocean temperatures are favorable and will be aiding in that happening we have 28 29 celsius in the bay of campeche and those are uh, conducive sea surface temperatures to enable development and intensification of tropical cyclones so uh, this has a good chance just limited time to really get itself together and as i said we'll see what eventually happens with it but there is that rainfall threat that lingers for Mexico. And again, that tropical wave is approaching the Lesser Antilles likely to result in increased precipitation across the various islands. And so I'll be keeping you guys updated once necessary. And that is really it for now. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts in there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.